Hey, mate. How's it going? Um, how did you get in my house? Nice website, bro. Uh, cheers, bro, but I'm still concerned about how you got into my house. Do you even bench, bro? How much do you bench? Well, now that you mention it, I'm not too sure, actually. I haven't bench pressed in about a year and a half. I've been focusing on releasing my tight muscles, such as my shoulders and chest. Do you even lift? Jokes aside, welcome back, to Beast Fam, to another video. I apologize for the delay of this video, as I had a mini vacation and went to Europe for two weeks, and also I've been playing way too much League. But, I am back, and I'm ready to deliver some content to you guys. Cue the intro. Today's video is about why I don't bench press anymore, and there are three reasons for this, and I'll be going into each point in more depth. There's also a chest and shoulder workout towards the end of the video. Number one reason. It's not mechanically suited for everyone. Number two, I've been focusing on realigning my shoulders and bringing them back to where they should be. As they're rounded forward, bench pressing will only make it worse. Number three, I've been performing more chest fly exercises to build chest width. Quick disclaimer, I'm not saying that bench press is a bad exercise. I'm just saying there's a lot of other exercises you can use to build up your chest and it really varies person to person. I will eventually re-add bench press to my training routine, just not doing it at the moment. Back to why I'm not benching anymore. It's not mechanically suited for everyone, as the grip can change predominantly while muscles are being fired. By having a narrow grip, your triceps are more engaged, whereas a wider grip will definitely hit your pecs, but it leaves your shoulder in a vulnerable position and can cause shoulder pain or injury. Number two, by focusing on realigning my shoulders, and building my posterior muscles through back exercises such as rows and also releasing my chest, I'm hoping to realign my shoulders and bring them back from a rounded position back to where they should be. Once my shoulders are realigned and I'm happy, I'll be ready to re-add bench press back to my training routine. The final point is that by incorporating more flies, it has helped stretch my chest out while also making it wider. The problem I see a lot of people do is they go too heavy on fly movements instead of focusing on the stretch at the peak. By focusing on good form and the stretch, you'll get a lot more out of the fly movements. If you made it this far in the video, I'm about to show you the chest shoulder routine that I perform and the cues that I use to make the most out of it. Hey guys, this is the chest shoulder workout that my coach Nick has given me. You can find his Instagram and Facebook in the description below. Before this set of chest press, I did some light shoulder and chest warm ups to get my body going. What we're going for is three sets of eight to 12 reps for each exercise. To set up for the chest press, you wanna adjust the seat so that the handles are aligned with your nipples and sit all the way back into the seat. Set your shoulders back into the pad and keep your wrists straight throughout the movement. Push forward while breathing out, embracing your core. On the way down, breathe in and repeat. The next exercise is the chest fly machine. Similar to the chest press, you want to adjust the seat so that the handles are roughly around your nipples and that you sit all the way back. Also be sure to set the handles to the correct setting so that your starting position allows for a good pec stretch. While breathing out, push the handles so that they meet, making sure to squeeze and hold. Breathe in as you come back to the starting position to repeat. I like to keep the rep range above 10 to really focus on the stretch and squeeze of the movement. Visualizing my chest crushing something as I move my arms towards the center. The next exercise is the incline chest press. This exercise allows us to target the pec minor, which is the upper portion of the chest. It is an almost identical exercise to the chest press, simply with an angle to target the upper chest. I found that my pec minor is quite weak in comparison, as I'm not able to do as much weight, but this could also be due to the size of the muscle, as it is much smaller, but also due to the tightness in my chest and shoulders. Next we move on to the incline dumbbell flies. 
I have to say, this is probably the hardest exercise even though we are using the lightest weight. Like I said earlier, it's good to go lighter weight and focus on the form. To start this exercise, adjust the bench so that it is on a 30 degree angle. Grab the dumbbells and have them directly over your chest. Keeping a bend in your elbow, breathe in and lower the dumbbells, as far as you can until you feel a good stretch in your chest. Then breathe out as you move the dumbbells focusing on using your chest to bring it back to the starting position to repeat. Next we move on to the shoulder portion of the workout with the first exercise, the shoulder press machine. Similar to the other machines, you want to adjust the seat so that the handles are just above your shoulders and sit back all the way on the seat. Breathe out as you push up and squeeze your shoulders. I like to imagine I'm doing a spirit bomb from DBZ. On the way down, breathe in and control the movement making sure not to drop the weight. Next we hit the lateral delts with some dumbbell lateral raises. I like to do these one arm at a time so I can really focus and visualize on the muscle being worked. To start, hold one hand onto the pole and grab the dumbbell in the other. Bring the dumbbell up and try holding at the top for a second before returning it back to the starting position. Repeat on the other side. We then do some dumbbell raises once again one at a time to focus on each side. To start we have our dumbbells to the side of our body alternatingly lifting each one up slowly just until we get above the shoulder, squeezing and returning back to the start. We didn't end up recording it but we end our workout by doing a set of shoulder press with high reps, around 25 reps after this exercise. We then follow the shoulder press with the chest press high reps, again around 25 reps to end the workout. Thanks so much for watching fam. If you liked the video, be sure to give me a like and also comment for me below what's your favorite chest or shoulder exercise. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and let me know what other workouts or topics you want me to make. Hope everyone has a good one. Until next time, Fit Beast out.